Now at 1030, they lived a quiet life in Hawaii for years. But tonight, a couple in their 60s has been arrested, accused of being Russian spies and stealing the identities of two dead children. The bombshell case making headlines this week following a massive raid at their Hawaii home. And as our correspondent Marky Martin reports, neighbors didn't suspect a thing. I saw FBI in one of their shirts. An early morning raid in a quiet Hawaii neighborhood has neighbors shocked and concerned. Me and my daughter, we were kind of like shaking, just thinking, you know, they were nice neighbors. Investigators say the couple who lived in this house, Walter Primrose and Gwen Morrison, may have been Russian spies. Court documents included these photos of the couple dressed in what appears to be KGB uniforms. The couple also charged with stealing the identities of Bobby Fort and Julie Montague, two Texas babies who died in the 60s. They're accused of using those identities to obtain passports, driver's licenses, and eventually jobs. Primrose served in the Coast Guard with a top secret clearance from 1994 to 2016 when he retired and took another job as a defense contractor. Military experts say the information he had access to in both jobs could be be beneficial to foreign enemies. Enough information disclosed publicly can enable the enemy to put pieces together and that can tell us a lot of or tell the enemy a lot of things about us troop movements, what our general design is, what our strategy is. Both are being held without bond. An attorney for Morrison would not answer questions about the stolen identities, but said her client is not a spy. I can't address that at all. My client just wants everyone to know that she is not a Russian spy. And in an exclusive interview, News Nation spoke with the sister of one of the identity theft victims. That sweet little sister of mine uh, who I, I, you know, like I said, did not get to know. But I love her. Tonda Ferguson never even got to hold her baby sister, Julie, who died at just three weeks old. She and her father, shocked to hear her sibling's identity, has been in use for decades. To those people who did that, I don't think I have words for a response because I could never, ever justify or imagine the action. Marky Martin, KTLA 5 News.